Okay, hi, it's Dr. Wayne here. I want to talk to you about um, weight loss. I know a lot of people struggle with weight loss, um, have many for many years, my family included, and you know, people going on a fad diets and try to lose as much weight as possible um, uh, quickly. And what happens is that happens that you can sustain that for a couple of weeks or maybe a month or maybe some sort of 60 day challenge. But the reality is, what are you going to do after that? Are you going to change your habits, change your lifestyle, change these um, things you may have learned in, in these diets. And then, you know, the issue is, are these diets even <coughs> good in the first place? <coughs> Excuse me, are they even good in the first place? And, and it's just a matter of what are they doing? So when you ever look at a, a diet or a way you're going to change, um, first thing I would do is take a diet diary for about um, a week. I would write down everything that you put into your body from a liquid, solid, whatever it is, um, into your body as far as food goes and drink for an entire week every single thing and then sit down and look at it um, and try to really focus on what it is that you're doing um, the main thing to to acknowledge or look at or think about when it comes to changing um, a lifestyle habit or the way you're eating is you have to use those three rules that we discussed and and they're always fat sugar and meats um, with the first one, fats, you, it's just impossible for you to lose weight if you're not eating good fats in a lot of them. Just, so if you read, if you watch my fat, um, the video I did on fat, um, you really have to make sure that you're replacing all bad fats with good fats. So trans fats, hydrogenated oils, anything that says vegetable or canola oil. Um, anything that has cottonseed oil i mean i listed them on that fat video you really want to never eat those fats at all the only reason the only way you're going to know if um, a food has those fats in them is look on the ingredient label so look at the ingredient label stop looking at how much of whatever is in there um those little um how many grams of sugar and all that you that's they can trick you and uh, i mean maybe not even it doesn't even matter what's on there all you need to look at is the ingredient label um learning what and how to read and what and how to read what's in the ingredient label is the key to everything. So you can then just look and see if there's anything that says canola or hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated or cottonseed or soy or anything like that. As I said in that video, you just have to refer back to it. Um, you'll know not to eat that because those are trans fats. Those are going to cause cellular congestion, leading to inflammation, leading to cancer, um, heart disease, and these types of things. So the first rule. Replace all bad fats with good fats. That means do not eat anything out of a box. <laughs> um, and make sure that you're eating good, a lot of good fats. So avocados, coconut oil, olive oil, um, mainly on salads, a lot of butter. Um, don't cook with butter. If you brown the butter, it ruins it. Um, a lot of raw nuts and raw seeds. These are the types of things that you replace your diets with as far as fat goes. Um, you'll see a significant change in weight loss just on that alone because you need good fats to burn fat. So good fat equals the ability for you to burn fat. You'll start to lose weight. Um, it really helps with your organs. And then you'll do your thing. You just have to really focus on um, making a decision not to get those bad fats in your body anymore. And you'll see the proofs in the pudding. You'll see as your body... Um, as you start to remove those bad fats and replace the good, how much different and how much better you feel. Uh, the second thing to do is meats. Um, you want to eat free range um, chicken, wild chicken, um, chickens that are able to just roam around and then they're killed if you want to eat those. You don't want to eat grain fed chicken. Um, the omega ratio of six to three is supposed to be four to one. In a grain-fed chicken, it's 15 to 1. Um, in a um, grain-fed cow, it's 20 to 1. Those are massively bad. Um, they cause, again, cellular congestion. They cause inflammation, lead to major amounts of um, heart, kidney, um, liver types of problems, causing you to really, really start to develop disease. And it takes years for you to develop disease. It just doesn't happen overnight. It's just not some genetic thing that you just develop. It, it takes a long time for diseases to grow into your body and it has to do with our lifestyle and how we're eating or not and then, and then what to do as far as um, 
getting rid of it is the only way you're going to get to fix it. So um, the meats have to be, you want them to be wild, wild salmon, wild, wild red meat, um, grass-fed cows, not grain-fed cows, um, wild free-range chickens and poultry. Those are the meats that you want to be able to eat and you want to really focus on where to get them. There's all kinds of places to get them online that they're guaranteed to be grass fed. You can, um, you know, if you have the ability to raise your own chickens um, or get them from friends, the eggs, free range eggs, you're, you're gonna, if you can find them, you just have to look and you can get them and be able to, you know, start to use that. You're, you're gonna see major change and how you feel, your energy, obviously weight just rolling off of you as you start to um, add these things. So good fats instead of bad, free range wild, um, grass fed meats instead of grain fed meats you'd buy at the store. Um, those are number one and two. Number three is a hard one, it's sugar. You've gotta remove sugar, everything that turns to sugar and do that. Um, for quite a while, it's going to take a while for your body to sort of heal from the addiction to sugar it has. Um, sugar responds in the brain like cocaine or some sort of amphetamine would, and that the brain, once it gets it, wants more and needs it, and it develops triggers, and you get euphoric as a result of eating sugar um, because your body just, it, it's one of those things that it's been doing for so long. Um, a lot of sugar consumption comes from liquids, um, as far as Coke and juices and these types of things but you really really need to remove sugar from your diet um, best way to do it is not eat any box foods um, not eat obviously any candy any pasta rice oatmeal bread anything like that low fat milk when they take out the fat they replace it with sugar um, milk is a whole another conversation but if you're going to drink milk you want it to be whole milk half and half Raw's best, that type of stuff. Um, instead, why don't you just drink almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, unsweetened coconut milk. Those are the better alternatives for you. Um, but sure, it's a big deal. No fruit for a while. You want to not eat fruit whatsoever for about two or three months as your body, again, breaks down, heals from sugar consumption. Um, you can eat berries, Granny Smith apples, and grapefruit in moderation mainly in the mornings um, maybe a cup of berries or a grapefruit um, a couple of grains with apples in the mornings but you just don't you just don't want to eat a lot of fruit because it's sugar at the end of the day it breaks down the sugar it's got other things in it but um, when we're talking about you losing weight and and um, starting to change your lifestyle the number one thing to do is um, what those other two is sugar has got to get fixed if you're going to get headaches or maybe feel really crappy for seven to ten days after you stop eating sugar, but don't worry, your body will, your brain will heal from that quickly and get over it, and then you'll start to, you'll just turn the road, and you'll see a major change in how you feel, your energy, and, and these types of things. So, again, if you have any questions, you can definitely email me at drwaynesissel at yahoo.com, get a hold of me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, and, um... I'd be happy to even go through your diet diary with you. Uh, ask any um, any questions you have for me, and I'll help you with that. So the number three number three rules are: replace bad fats with good fats, replace wild, uh, grass-fed and free-range meats with. I mean, it's to eat those instead of your grain-fed meats you get at the store, and then um, removing all sugar, everything that turned to sugar, including fruit, for a period of time. And um, you do this for about a month and you're going to see major change. And I guarantee you will. You just have to make a decision and do it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Thanks.